Streaking is awesome. And hopefully, after you've watched our pin washing video, you're wondering what else you can do with oil paint. First, let's take a look at how we can use oil streaks to create really old, faded looking paintwork. I spray the surface with a couple of thin coats of polyurethane gloss varnish through the airbrush. A slightly glossy surface will make this process much easier. I take some thinner and a couple of oil paints that are a shade lighter and a shade darker than the colour of the surface I want to change. Now I'm going to apply a few neat dots of the lighter colour all over the panel and a few of the darker one as well. Next, I'm going to take a large flat brush, dip it into the thinner and touch off most of the excess. We just want the brush slightly damp you see here on the paper. I take the brush and pressing gently against the surface, I pull the paint in the direction I want the streaks to go. And you can see here, once it's dry, we get this nice faded streak effect on the paintwork. That was quite a subtle effect. Now let's try something that's a bit more impactful. You can see on this panel, I've added a few chips here and there to represent some battle damage. Now I'm gonna use some oil paint to pull some streaks down from those. We always recommend picking up an orange and brown oil paint, in this case, burnt sienna and burnt umber. And alongside that, some dedicated thinner, in this case, Winsor & Newton Sansador. Now with oils and thinners, you get what you pay for and we prefer the Sansador as it's odourless and highly refined. When I apply the paint, I want it to stay where I put it, so I make sure my brush isn't too wet, nor the paint too diluted. I apply a small amount of the burnt umber directly on top of a couple of the chips I painted earlier. I clean my brush off, and leaving a little bit of the thinner on there, I return to the streaks. To begin with, I gently push the brush against the paint and pull downwards, to create the initial streak. I clean my brush once again and come back and start to shape it. Gently drawing down in the direction I want the streak to go, either side gradually sharpening it. The lovely thing about using oil paints to do these streaks with is we get a variety of opacities, a nice dense covering at the top of the streak that fades out as it drips further down. If you do create a streak that you're not happy with, then you can take a Q-tip dip it in a little bit of the Sansador and gently wipe away and remove it from the surface. Let's make something even higher contrast by taking some of our orange burnt sienna oil and creating a rusty streak down over the white decal. I do this in exactly the same way and you can see here that initially I applied too little paint so I just go back put another little blob of the undiluted oil on and continue to work at it. You've got loads of time to work with oils and it's a really relaxing way to paint. We find that these brown and rusty orange streaks can be used on nearly any model you're working on. I hope you've enjoyed the video and really fancy giving this a go yourself. If you're interested in working with oil paints, we often have much more in-depth tutorials on them over on our Patreon, so check it out. And if you've enjoyed the video, then hit that like button. And if you want to see more from us, make sure you press subscribe and we'll see you next time.